Well, he is the lawyer for the people, and city attorney Mike Fuhrer now has a little more on his plate as he tackles everything from misdemeanors to homelessness to fighting big agencies in court. Anna Marcos attended one of his so-called coffee sessions to find out what Fuhrer is up to. City attorney Mike Fuhrer is tackling a much bigger crime load these days. Ever since Prop 47 passed last year, a law that turns nonviolent cases like drug and property crimes from felonies to misdemeanors, his office has been slammed with a flood of misdemeanor cases, and he's working to come up with new solutions. Very few offenders are getting treatment. Very few offenders are likely, so far, to suffer any consequence in terms of getting into jail. Fewer in his office have been hard at work identifying 50 drug offenders who have committed 1,200 crimes in the last year, and it is this group which he is working to target. Among his solutions, he's received a grant to start a chronic offender pilot program where drug offenders get rerouted into drug rehab immediately upon arrest. In return, their records are wiped clean and they avoid a court trial. He's also met with local judges, lawyers and law enforcement to hammer out more solutions. Prop 47 and how we handle it in this county could be either the role model or the object lesson for that national conversation. Fewer is also working on ways to end homelessness, which includes providing housing and services and getting the homeless back on their feet. We need to target our resources in a way that reflects the composition of the homeless population and the difference of needs that, are, that is contained in that population. Another big issue, turning nuisance properties into neighborhood assets. Fewer's new receivership program finds law firms to take over nuisance properties, fix them up and sell them without taxpayer money. The law firms make money off the sale. Once we start this, we anticipate seeing property after property transformed in neighborhoods that have been riddled with blight. It's all in a day's work for a city attorney who believes today's new problems require new solutions. I'm Anna Marcos for L.A. This Week. Other ways City Attorney Fuhrer is fighting for the people. He won a court fight to make the Department of Water and Power records transparent and accessible to the public. The agency appealed, and now he is fighting that appeal.